Hello and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, I'm Rebecca Felgate and I love the beach. Not like California beaches which I do like, but I prefer slightly grim rainy British beaches, those are my favourite. Despite an enduring love of the beach, sometimes the oceans do throw up some scary stuff. Join me as we talk about the top 10 scary things found on the beach. Coming in at number 10, we have this barnacle covered alien. In December 2016, locals stumbled across this mysterious object on Morawai Beach in Auckland. Melissa Doubleday posted an image on Facebook asking if anyone knew what the horrifyingly large alien looking thing was. Eerily, the object was covered in long black creatures and barnacles, which to me is kind of gross. Many people thought it was a piece of driftwood covered in gooseneck barnacles, which are pretty horrifying. I guess it would explain it because these types of organisms do like to attach to driftwood. This could have been part of an old sunken boat, although people were saying it was straight up the work of aliens. Because why not? Aliens. Coming in at number 9, we have have a gun. Okay, so this gun isn't loaded, but imagine finding this washed up on a beach. This rusty old pistol could have been involved in all manner of drama before it was tossed into the sea. It could even be a murder weapon. Coming into number eight, we have jumping dead fish. I've actually never seen anything like this. Imagine walking on the beach side of a big lake and seeing this. I'd be really scared. It's like death kind of came and stopped these fish in their tracks. This image was taken by a beach stroller and went viral in January 2017. I have no idea how the wave that these fish were riding in froze mid crash or why the fish are still jumping, but this is truly haunting. Coming into number seven, we have a hairy white blob. A globster washed up on a beach in the Dingat Islands in February 2017. Globsters, by the way, are unidentified organic masses, which is exactly what this big white monster seems to be. The ocean is a deep, dark, and unyielding place, and we are still identifying new species. So maybe we just don't have a name for this huge hairy beast yet. Sadly, whatever it was, it washed up dead. Okay, similarly up next, Hurricane Harvey has brought some really weird stuff to the surface. Coming into number six, we have this fanged sea creature. Preeti Deseo was walking on a Texas beach when she stumbled across this mysterious creature washed up after Hurricane Harvey. She tweeted, OK Biology Twitter, what the heck is this? It turns out that the Twitter hive mind did know. After her image was retweeted over 7,000 times, an eel expert revealed that this is actually a tusky eel. Tusky eel or not, I really need it to stay away from me. I don't like those fangs. Coming into number five, we have a swarm of killer jellyfish. In September 2017, a Cornish beach was put on high alert after a swarm of deadly jellyfish washed up on Paranporth Beach. These creatures, native to Portugal, look like magical wizard hats, but actually, they could kill you with just one sting. This is especially worrying as many people, including children, like to walk barefoot along the sand. Luckily, the stretch of beach was closed while teens cleaned the fish away. Coming into number four, we have a World War II fighter jet. A fighter jet from the Second World War had had been buried under sand since it crashed off the coast of Wales in 1942. After a storm in 2007, 65 years after it fell, finally the last of the sand covering the Lockheed P-38 was displaced as lightning struck, and amazingly, it was found there. The wreckage was recovered from the water and taken to an aviation museum. Can you imagine? Buried under sand for 65 years, it's a piece of history. Coming into number three, we have a bomb. In July 2017, what looked like a bomb washed up on Shelly Island in North Carolina. Emergency services were called and the beach was closed as officials thought that the object could be an unexploded ordnance. The possible bomb was covered in marine life, so it had clearly been in the water for some time. After an investigation, it did turn out to be an unexploded World War II weapon, which is pretty scary. Coming into number two, so haunting, we have this ghost ship. In 2006, a white ghost ship washed up on a beach in Barbados. On the boat were the decomposing bodies of 11 men. The men were all huddled together in one cabin of the ocean battered boat. After police investigated the grim ship, they discovered that the boat had come from Cape Verde off the coast of Africa and it had been heading towards the European Canary Islands. It is thought that those on the boat were hoping to emigrate to Europe. How the boat crossed the Atlantic and washed up in Barbados, we don't know. Presumably the vessel and crew were met with some kind of bad weather. A note was found on one of the bodies that said, please excuse me and goodbye, this is the end of my life in this big Moroccan sea. So sad. Finally coming into number one, we have 50 million pounds worth of cocaine. I don't even know what that is in dollars. It's a lot. 
Seasides are lovely places, especially for families to walk and play, but imagine finding your kid playing with a whole big bag of drugs. In February 2017, 360 kilos of cocaine was found in bags that washed up on a Norfolk beach in the United Kingdom. The first of the nine bags recovered was found on Hopton Beach in a place called Great Yarmouth. This is incidentally a place that my family would take me to play as a kid. Then further bags started cropping up along the coastline. Not only is this scary because of what the drugs could do if consumed by a dog or a child or even an adult who should know better, it's also pretty scary because there are probably some really really angry drug dealers out there who are looking for their products or their money. So I've calculated 50 million pounds is roughly 67 million dollars which I'm pretty sure a dealer would be very angry about losing. So that was the top 10 scary things found on the beach. Have you guys ever found anything weird and wonderful while you've been out walking along the ocean side? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10. I'll see you next time.